Welcome back, this is Zach with more Zero G Gaming, and today I just wanted to go over modding in No Man's Sky in case you didn't know that you could mod or you don't know how or you're you know, too intimidated to get into it. Um, I just wanted to kind of talk about it a little bit and show you what I can in case you haven't seen it. So obviously the game's released to some, some mixed feelings because a lot of stuff was left out and a big one with the no multiplayer though I feel that that lack of multiplayer might be what's kind of letting us do the modding though I really don't know with that I don't have the technical knowledge to speak uh, on that behalf I don't know what they can what they could do if it was a multiplayer game but the fact is right now aside from uploading your your discoveries and stuff it's pretty much a single player game so on PC you can go in and you can mod some things most of the mods that are out right now are just kind of graphical improvements uh, changing around menus a little bit, um, sound files and, and things like that. Nothing too drastic, but just the fact that we can go in and we can start messing around with this stuff is really nice, and I'm really curious to see what some of the the more talented mod creators will ultimately be able to bring to the game. Uh, calling you out, DD Productions, this probably isn't your type of game, but you're a fucking genius. <laughs> we need you. We need you. But... So I just want to go through here and show you how to do this if you've never modded before. So before we even get into the site, we're just going to set some stuff up. You want to go into your local disk, wherever you have the game installed or Steam installed, because you're going to go into Program Files, or Times 86, uh, or X86, I have no idea. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, No Man's Sky. Now before you do anything here, uh, I would just recommend right click, create a shortcut, pop that there. Da, 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 da. Maybe. Oh no. What happened? I just failed. Oh, that's why I just didn't update. <laughs> Anyways, so that should normally go nice and smooth. I think it's just because I've deleted this a couple times. Um, and also up here, I just make a, a backup. So you just, before you go updating anything and adding files, just go to your base folder like this and just copy and then paste. Uh, so you have a backup in case something does mess up and your file gets corrupted or who knows, you know, everything starts exploding in the game just delete the folder put the, the backup folder and you'll be fine so here you're gonna spend most of your time in game data from what I've seen uh, I think the reshade mod had me pull some stuff into binaries but generally speaking you're just gonna be opening game data and going to PC banks some mods call for you to delete shader cache or to clear it just delete the whole thing if they call for that it'll regenerate the next time you start the game so all right, so we've got this all opened up and ready to go. So now we're ready to go back. Now I recommend nexusmods.com, and I'll put the link for the No Man's Sky homepage. Uh, this is just Nexus Mods is a site that I'm familiar with. I've used it for Skyrim and um, Fallout 4 pretty extensively. I personally enjoy them. I like the the content that's on them, and when they have mod managers, I like those as well. They're pretty useful. I don't know if this game will ever get one, but right now it's easy enough. You don't really need it. Um, so here you can go. You can browse by categories or new today. That's usually I go new today because I'm always looking for new mods. Uh, but generally, you can just go to categories. As you can see, there's really not much if you're familiar with the site at all. There's a ton of stuff usually. Um, so nothing crazy. I don't know if we'll ever get anything crazy. I'm not sure how that's going to go. Sean Murray doesn't seem like he's totally into the whole modding thing, which is kind of unfortunate. But we'll see what happens. But anyways, you can go in here. So we'll just go this one. Um, just for an example, I've already downloaded this, but we go uh, no rim lighting. This particular mod just takes away some of that edge lighting on stuff to give uh, caves and night more of a dark feel. Um, so you just want to read up if there's any compatibility stuff so you're not installing things that are going to create problems. You want to try to avoid them before installing them. 
uh, instead of having to go back and backtrack. So you just go download manual. You're going to pick the one that you want, download manually. You need to make sure that you have uh, WinRAR, or I think 7-Zip also works. I, I use WinRAR. Just make sure that's installed. You can just Google that. I'll put a link down below too. Uh, may as well. So you just open with that. Now you can extract it to like a folder on your desktop if you want to keep them in there uh, to organize them. But I usually just pull it straight from the folder and you just plop it right in and then close. It's already in there so I don't have to do that. You can close this, close out of these. Um, I personally recommend kind of adding one mod at a time. Add the mod, go into the game, test it out, make sure it works and then just do it that way uh, even though I immediately went against my own advice and just added like eight mods it's just you have a higher chance of running into a conflict and then having to go back and try and figure out which is causing the conflict so generally easier to just do it one at a time so everything's all in now you're just gonna go and you're gonna launch your game as you can see top left I've got my reshade running so I've got a few mods and I'm going to go through and cover some of the ones that I like in separate videos and I'm also going to try and keep up to date on this stuff for you guys. If I see something really cool or innovative that comes out, I'll definitely try and make a video as soon as I can so you don't miss out on it. Uh, like I actually want to cover the weathers mod that I'm using because I'm enjoying it already. Uh, I definitely prefer the, the things that increase my difficulty and make it more of a survival game because that... I don't know, it makes me think more, but I've already had to go and install uh, all these um, thermic layers, because I never really had to use them before, but now I definitely need them a lot more. So I just really wanted to go through and, and show you this in case you haven't ever done this before or you just weren't aware. Uh, definitely keep your eyes open because who knows what's going to come out or what's going to happen as time goes on. Um, Definitely keep your backup because I'm sure doing this is going to make your game crash really hard whenever they push out like the next update. So just just try and uh, keep track of that stuff. So that way, if the update does come out, you're not just like stuck trying to figure out how to get your old backup and everything. Um, though even then, you should still be able to just delete everything, reinstall, and be fine. So yeah, uh, definitely let me know what you think of modding in this game, modding in general, especially considering that the game did release kind of under par from what a lot of people were expecting, which was its own thing. You know, that's that's partly people's fault, partly their um, Hello Games fault. Uh, but that's that's a different topic for a different video. So hopefully you enjoy the modding as much as I do, even though there's pretty much nothing yet. But let me know what your favorite mods are, if you know any other mod sites that are really good. And I guess until next time, this is Zero G signing off.